What's up Puckers, Big Country here and today we're going to review the brand new from Innova Disc T-Bird 3. This is the latest disc in their 3 line to go along with the Shark 3, the Rock 3, and the Mako 3. Uh, it's in their brand new G-Star plastic and it's advertised being a longer T-Bird. We'll see, I'm a T-Bird aficionado so I know a thing or two. We're going to test against a regular G-Star T-Bird and against a flat, firm, glow T-Bird since this is supposed to be the flattest T-Bird yet. So we'll see. We're going to take it out here in the field, and then we're going to take it to the course. As I said, we're going to t test out the brand new G-Star T-Bird 3 that I got from my friends at Infinite Discs. We're going to test it against a regular G-Star T-Bird and a flat, firm glow T-Bird. Right? The flat, firm glow is actually flatter than the T-Bird 3. It's got a little bit lower shoulder. The T-Bird 3's flight numbers are 8, 4, 0, and 2, and the T-Birds are 7, 5, 0, and 2. So with that says, the T-Bird 3 is supposed to be faster with less glide. So, we're going to start off, we're going to throw the flat, firm, glow T-Bird, then the T-Bird 3, then the G-Star T-Bird. We're going to throw them into a little bit of a headwind here. And keep in mind, I'm in Fountain, Colorado. So the elevation of where I'm standing is almost 6,000 feet above sea level. So these discs will have less glide and be more overstable anyway. Your mileage may vary. What I found with the T-Bird 3 is it went about 10 to 15 feet farther than the G-Star T-Bird. But it is not as overstable and glideless as this, the flat, firm, glow T-Bird. Keep in mind, this is 169 grams. These are both max weight. That's 169 grams scale. So honestly, if you're looking for a flat, overstable T-Bird, so far it looks like this one's the best. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put them on an Anheuser angle, see if they pan out, see if they hold the line and what have you. I suspect that the G-Star T-Bird with this more glide is going to hold a little better. There's only one way to find out. First up, flat, firm, nice and overstable, glow tube. Hit it. Hit the bag. Yeah! Bag ace at 3.55 on the dot. All right, next up, G Star Two. On our Anheuser test, even though I managed to hit my bag, which is exactly 355 from where I was throwing with the T-Bird 3, um, we found, again, the flat, firm, glow T-Bird is more overstable. And this one's still less overstable than a Brinster T-Bird. So, 
Uh, there's a large variety of stabilities and T-Brits out there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw a little sidearm. I really like moderately overstable flat discs for my sidearm. Like this, this is my sidearm disc. So we'll see how the T-Bird 3 holds up. As you saw with those sidearm shots, uh, the T-Bird 3, I left it a little low and only went out about 200, 225 feet, where these were blasting out well past 300, which is pretty impressive for me considering my sidearm abilities. So what that really shows to me is that this T-Bird 3 does indeed lack the glide that these other T-Birds do. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put them on a little hyzer, we'll see how they fly, then we're gonna take them out to my local course. First up, flat firm, glow champion, old reliable T-Bird. T Bird 3. Um, I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical. Uh, I really like the Rock 3, the Shark 3, and the Mako 3. I didn't really click with, I didn't really see the point of them. A lot of times, people in the disc golf community accuse Innova of being the big bad empire. But what a lot of people don't understand or fail to realize, especially hardcore discers, is that Innova is not very big. These companies are not big, they're not working on big profit margins. And Innova is really the American dream. It's a couple guys who love throwing frisbees, who made their own and started up their own company and now they're the number one disc golf manufacturer. They're still small. So them pumping out a lot of new molds isn't them being the evil empire that people accuse them of. It's just expanding their line, trying to make profit. Anyway, regardless of all that, I was a little skeptical about this. I thought it was a money grab. I think the T-Bird is one of the classic molds. You don't need more T-Birds. They have so many different runs and so many different plastics. What they wanted with the T-Bird 3 was the mythical longer T-Bird. Before this, the real only longer T-Bird that I'd ever seen or thrown was a Discmania PD, or Power Driver. And that's quite a bit longer than a T-Bird. I will say now, uh, here out in the field, the T-Bird 3 is exactly as advertised. It's a little bit faster than a regular T-Bird, the rim's just a little bit wider, comes out of the hand a little quicker, flies a little bit farther, and it has a lot less glide. I would actually put the glide on this at maybe a 3 or even a 2, as opposed to a 4 where a regular T-Bird has a glide of five, which a regular T-Bird does, especially DX and G-Star T-Birds have that huge amount of glide. And this one just had almost no glide. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these out to the course, my local course, Cumberland Green, and we're gonna throw them on some of my favorite holes that I love to throw T-Birds on. And we're gonna test them against the G-Star T-Bird, the Flat Firm Glow T-Bird, and see which one comes out on top. All right, we're out here at my local course, Cumberland Green in Fountain, Colorado. It's a fairly short beginner style course. Maybe that's why I love it. I've got my T-Birds. Let's take them for a test run.
all 12. It's uh, 307. It's around the corner. It's a blind shot. So we're going to throw these off the tee, then we're going to go up there and see where they land. Here's a basket at 305. My flat firm glow T bird, which I brought out a little wider, is right here. Over here, we have the G Star T bird. Way over here, we have the T bird 3. This is one of my favorite holes on the course, hole 17. In the current pin position, it's measured after 324. We've got a little bit of a tail crosswind going on right now. The wind shifts constantly. So we're going to try out our T-Birds, see how they do. <coughs> oh, for the love of Pete. Again, the T3 performs admirably into a wind, landed right here while my other T-Birds went kind of squirrely. As you saw from the field test out here at Cumberland Green, the T-Bird 3 is exactly what it's advertised as, a faster T-Bird with less glide. That, gl that lack of glide helps it be a little more overstable than the G-Star T-Bird. Now it's not as overstable as the Glow Champion T-Bird. As I said before, this one's extremely flat. It's even flatter than the T-Bird 3. It's got a lower shoulder, it's got a lower PLH, or parting line height, where the two pieces come together. Um, I'm not sure when exactly this was made. I picked it up on a site called discgolfvalues.com, and they're very hard to come by. This is one of the beefiest T-Birds I have, besides my Brinster T-Bird, and it's great. It flies almost like a Banshee for me with even less glide. I can't say enough good things about the T-Bird 3. I think I'll put it in my bag, we'll play around with it. Um, it's a longer T-Bird, it holds lines, it's got fade, it fights wind, and it's in that great G-Star plastic, which you can see is real flexible, very pretty, got lots of metal flake in there. It complements my regular G-Star T-Bird very well. It does fight wind a little better, and that's due to the lack of glide. I want to thank Infinite Disc for supplying me with these G-Star T-Birds to test. And most of the discs that I play with, you should go check them out at infinitediscs.com. They've got the best prices on the internet. Shop local if you can. If you can't, go to Infinite and Beyond. Hope this is informative for you. Now get out there and hug some discs.